What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, check out this team we are showcasing for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Rayquaza Series 10 team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. It really has been blowing my mind. So thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel, tunes in and watch them, or just likes the videos. All those really do go a long way and help me grow as a content creator. But this team Team right here was sent in by my main man jerry jerry shout out to you for leaving this team in my instagram dms cannot wait to get after it and try to get some wins with this squad but if you guys want to leave me teams for series 10 head down into the link in the description below this link to my instagram page there's also my name right below my face cam go search me up hit that follow button and dm me your teams chances are i'll check it out and maybe play them on the rank double ladder for a video but I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads for this past week. Your boy was on vacation. I was in Disney having some fun, so wasn't really uploading as much as you guys can tell. But we are back. Daily uploads are here. And if you guys want to catch my streams, we got streams five plus days every single week. They are back. Link is down in the description below. Definitely go check me out. Come hang out. Say hi. But Amoongus is our first Pokemon. We're getting started with him in that top left corner. Regenerator ability. So when we swap out, we get some HP when we come back in. Black Sludge as his item. So at the end of every single turn, we get some HP. We got Clear Smog, Take Away Stat Changes, Spore for Sleep, Protect, and Rage Powder to protect ally Pokemon. Right next to him, heart and soul of the team right here, we have Rayquaza. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Probably one of my favorite legendaries in all of Pokemon. Definitely in my top five list. Definitely in my top five. It's just so cool all around, and his design is phenomenal. We have Airlock for his ability, Life Orb as his item so we do more damage, and then this amazing moveset of Dragon Dance to set up, Dragon Ascent for stab, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and Outrage for our Dragon Stab move. Middle left, we have Regilecki. This Pokemon's been a beast in this series considering there's no Dynamax, so he can control the floor so well, and he's basically the fastest on the field considering a lot of people can't get speed boost from the max airstream anymore. Transistor ability, Focus Ash so we don't get one tap, and then this amazing moveset that you guys have been seeing all over the place of Protect, E-Web, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. Right next to him, Incineroar, another great Pokemon for the series. Intimidate and Citrus Berry as his item and ability. And then I don't even need to say his moveset. Do I really have to do this? Fake out Flare Blitz, Party Shot, Snarl. Loving this moveset, rocking out in all different situations. Bottom left, we have Tapu Fini with Misty Surge and Leftover. So we got two Pokemon. We're going to be constantly getting HP at the end of every single turn with the Moongus and the Black Sludge and the Tapu Fini with the Leftovers. We got Calm Mind to set up, Muddy Water for Stab, Heal Pulse to heal ally Pokemon, and Moon Blast for our final Stab move. Final Pokemon is going to be Dark and Fighting Urshfu with Wicked Blow, U-Turn, Close Combat, and Sucker Punch. Absolutely beast of a Pokemon. This Pokemon is phenomenal. Comes in the back end and pretty much wins games. He's just so strong, especially with this item this thing is holding. We gave it the Choice Ban. It's rocking out with that. It's going to be able to do huge damage and pick up late game KOs. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, run out the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto the ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Series 10 Rayquaza team. Let's get this video started off strong, going up against a Xerneas team for our first battle. He also has Volcarona, is that Zigolith? Is that how you pronounce it? I believe so, Zigolith, and then uh, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Entei. So, really strong team here, not even gonna lie. Definitely can do some work on me, he can set up the Tailwind with that little Egyptian little whatever it is egyptian glass thingy i don't even know what to call it like what is that thing like everything else is like a certain like animal or like character like we got a monkey actually a monkey a rabbit a dog deer and then like a bug and then we got this ancient i don't even know what it is <laughs> so <laughs> but we're gonna get rocking out with this battle i feel like i'm gonna go amoongus and rayquaza here maybe try to set up a dragon dance that is a swift possibility that is a really good possibility because I can just go into a uh, Rage Powder, potentially set up Dragon Dance, and get along with a Rayquaza. I really do like that. I really do like that. I definitely want to have Incineroar in the back end for that Intimidate. And I think Tapu Fini is going to be our final Pokemon because he just works great all around. Or I could go Urshifu. Who do I want? They're both going to work super, super well. But I just have to watch out for that Rillaboom. Rillaboom is always a problem. He's always a problem. Hmm. I said we finalize and go top of Finny. Top of Finny just rocks all around. So let's bring it in here and look for a win in this first battle. But yeah, like I said, lack of uploads, 
because I was on vacation. I'm glad I'm back. Glad I'm back. Daily uploads are starting again. Streams are back five plus days every single week. We're streaming Pokemon Unite. There was just some balance changes, so cannot wait to get back into that game. Get grinding with that. And I also do viewer battles over there with Pokemon Unite. So if you guys want to come hang out with me, you guys know the deal. I already said it. Link down in the description below. Come hang out with your boy on stream live. Come talk it up. I love seeing you guys come out there. I love hanging out with you guys as well. But he goes Ziggleth and Volcarona. We're totally fine. We're definitely going to see a Tailwind. And he might just go for a straight Heat Wave. If air lock, air lock, so weather disappears, which is dope, which is awesome. Um, I think I might just Rage Powder here. Let's just go for his Rage Powder and this Dragon Dance. Try to set up here and try to get rocking out here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what my main man does. I can definitely see a Tailwind coming out from his slot, which could be totally fine with me. I really want to see what he does. Maybe a Tailwind in the Heat Wave? I don't know. What are you going to do, kind sir? What are you going to do? I'm thinking maybe I should have just thrown a Spore. At this point, that probably would have been big. But I think he's gonna go tailwind into maybe a quiver dance. Let's see that. I can definitely see a quiver dance popping out here. So we do. We totally should have spored. We should just sprinkle on a little bit of spore powder. Should just did him a little bit dirty. Told him to go to sleep. Let's see how this one plays out. But rage powder comes out for me. We just want to protect our Rayquaza and try to set this bad boy up. He's gonna end up going for a heat wave. Okay. Yeah, we should have totally just uh. Until they just went into the uh, the spore, spore would have definitely been a play. Not very effective on the Rayquaza, and he's gonna end up skill swapping. And what are you gonna give me? What skill did you just give me? Tinted lens. Tinted lens. What does that do? I'm a little confused, but we Dragon Dance set up. Which one? I love this. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But we are definitely fast on the field. Um, I can get after whoever I want, and I cannot swap. Like I wanted to swap, but then at the same time, I can't really now because I don't have a generator. But let me check summary here. Does it say uh, Tinted Lens? No. I cannot even see what it does. Actually, maybe I can go into my uh, my battle stats, my info here, and see what that does. Tinted Lens. A Pokemon cannot use not very effective moves to deal regular damage. Oh, can use not very effective moves. Okay. I, I'm with that. I can dig it. I can dig it a lot. Um, Go for a Spore, but I might just protect you this turn. And try to get rid of actually let's go here. Let's go for a sport over on you. And then I am just gonna go for a dragon ascent and just take him out. I don't see this thing being sashed. I see it more so being buried. But we'll see how this one plays out. We have a speed, and I know Ziggoth isn't gonna outspeed me. Well at least my Rayquaza. Right? Yeah, so Rayquaza is gonna go first. Should we be able to take this out or bring it down to Sash? I'm not sure what item it's holding. Let's see what it goes with. No item. Awesome. So we take that thing out. And there goes my defense. My defense is dropping both of them. And I think we should be able to get off another turn with this repository before we do go out. Because I don't see a single to really hit me, right? Goes for a skill swap now. I'm a little confused here. I'm a little confused. Did he misclick? He might have misclicked. Not even gonna lie. He might have misclicked there. But yo, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day. We put you to sleep. He gets my regenerator back. I might swap my Amoongus now to get some HP. He might have misclicked. I'm thinking he thought that he was going to be able to take out my uh, Amoongus. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. But that was a little weird turn, but yeah, we take those. We've been buzzing on the Series 10 ladder. Been playing really, really well, so I'm happy with my gameplay. Been, I think we got winning records with all, all of our Series 10 teams, so hopefully we can keep that going and keep rocking out with these squads. But yo, uh, shiny Rayquaza, he's looking sick. He's looking sick. He's one of my favorite shinies as well. And I didn't even ask you guys question of the day. Let me know in the comment section down below. Who is, who do you not like to play up against in Series 10? There's got to be that one Pokemon that you guys don't like to play up against. For me, it's the Ice and Shadow Rider Calyx. I don't know why. Always struggled with them. Even not even Ice Rider or Shadow Rider form. Just Calyrex and uh, the horses in general. I always struggle with and never really like to play up against them. But he's going to end up throwing out his Series 10 Mon, which is going to be Xerneas. And I could, I could drop a Spore, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to do Spore. And I could... Hmm, do I go for another Dragon Ascent? I think I do. Get some big damage on him, see how much we can possibly do. So I'm with this turn. He actually might end up protecting, which could be a huge turn, but I think it's totally fine if he does protect. Oh my god, your Rayquaza looking spiffy, bro. He's looking so good. Xerneas is definitely, definitely up there for my favorite Legendaries as well. He's just awesome, man. That design is phenomenal. Look at him, yo. He's got the rainbow antlers. Oh, 
Mwah, yo, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful little Pokemon. Let's see how this dude plays this one. We have his Pokemon asleep. We have speed right now, considering he hasn't Tailwind yet. And we still have our boy, uh, who do we have in the back end? The top of Finny in the back, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Here goes Dragon Set. How much damage are we possibly going to do? We're plus one. Some lovely damage. Some lovely damage there. He's probably going to take out my, uh, my Rayquaza here with, like, a Gleam or a Moonblast. Let's see how this one plays out. But... In the end, we are going to be able to put him to sleep. We're just going to get some HP. And he goes for a draining kiss over on the hit. What is going on? What are you doing? What is this dude doing? Sport comes out here. We take these wins, though. We take these wins. I was like, okay, Rick Watts is dead. That's totally fine. But, yo, what are you going after Amoogus for? Dude's a little crazy. Dude's a little crazy, not even gonna lie. Maybe he thought I was protecting, and maybe he was trying to go for a skill swap with, uh, Cernius. But yo, this is weird, because this is Master Ball tier battles. These are Master Ball tier battles, and I'm gonna end up swapping you into, uh, let's go Tapu Finny here. Just so I get some HP back place when I'm a bit slower. And I think I just Dragon Ascent again. Actually, Extreme Speed should be able to get the job done. I'm just gonna go for Extreme Speed, take you out. No problem. No problem whatsoever. And be fine. Like, I want to go into Dragon Ascent, but that will lower our defense again. So, I think Extreme Speed will be able to take us out, considering we are plus one on the, the attack board. I love Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is such a good setup move, because you don't, you don't just get that attack boost, you also get that speed boost. So, you're going to be able to outspeed and hit even harder, which is just all around amazing. That's why I think it's one of the better setup moves. But, Top of Finney's going to come out here. We're going to give some HP back to our Regenerator Boy, and we'll see how this turn plays out here. Dream Speed should come out here first. Should be dandy. And maybe I actually shouldn't have brought that out because we have Dragon Stab with Outrage. And this ha and the Surge will actually half the damage of the, uh, the Surge. Or half the damage of Dragon Moves. But I think we're fine. I think we're just going to be rocking Dragon Ascent with our boy this round. And going from there. Let's see his final mod. Let's see how it is. Let's see who he's rocking with. Final Pokemon is going to be... I'm not worried about this Egyptian dude. This little vase looking thing. Vase with wings. That's what we'll call it. Looks like an Egyptian vase with wings. Just flapping around. <laughs> so we're not worried about him. I'm just going to take out this last Pokemon. Hopefully he cancels next turn. And we can get rocking from there. But whom are you going to go with, kind sir? What's taking this guy so long? Like, he only has one option to pick from now. <laughs> Unless he's turning off his console, which would be hilarious. Which would be hilarious. Oh my guy, come on. But yeah, Pokemon Unite just came out with uh, some new buffs and balances. I heard Grand Ninja, your boy's main, is a lot better now. And I heard Charizard got a nice buff, so cannot wait to show him off and get after it with that. But he is going to end up changing the surge to Grassy. I do have Dragon Ascent ready to rock. Um, I could call him mine, but I'm just going to take uh, go after that Sigilith. And if he wants to pick out my Rayquaza, that is totally fine. Actually, I can heal Pulse, but I don't really want to. I can heal Pulse. But I'm just going to go for Dragon Ascent because I know this will KO if I can land it. But I think he's just going to fake me out. But maybe I should have heal pulse. Maybe heal pulse was to play. But I don't see a grassy guy and a fake out taking out my Rayquaza at all. Rayquaza just eats it up like a tasty snack. And I can see him potentially just throwing the grassy guy over onto the top of Vinny. Which is totally fine. Totally fine. But this is a long battle that shouldn't have been long. Like I feel like this guy is just playing really, really slow and trying to overthink things. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because he has a solid team. The team is actually really good. I feel like there could have been some better options in it, but all around he has everything you need to uh, get a win out. He has the Xerneas, he has the Rillaboom, he has a nice Tailwind setter, and he hasn't been able to get off the Tailwind. I feel like he was trying to do something like a skill thing with the skill swap, but he he couldn't have been able to do it, so we were just going to run over him. But there goes my Dragon Ascent. Your boy Rayquaza picks up his third KO of the match, and this guy should just cancel at this point. He should just cancel. Tell him to get out of here. Tell him to get out of our faces. And there goes some of our HP. And dude, this thing's still asleep. That four turns? How long has this thing been asleep for? <laughs> this thing has been slumped, bro. We gave him some extra spore, baby. We threw in a little bit of extra spore dust on that one. That's either three or four turns. That's nutty. That's nutty. I haven't been really keeping count. But we are rocking iron. Could go for a Dragon Ascent 120. They're both 120. Um, I think we just go for a, uh, a Dragon Ascent. Probably your best bet. Plus the move looks sick. Plus the move looks amazing. But come on, man. Cancel the battle. Wrap it up. Your boy's got plenty more battles to do. 
Dean still has to do battle number two and battle number three. So let's wrap it up here, dude. Let's wrap it up here. Come on, Cupcake. Let's go. <laughs> Next. I should start saying that every time I just like whoop on people like this. This is sweet. We 4 would them. I should be like, Next. <laughs> Next in line. Or what's that SpongeBob thing when he's in uh, Rock Bottom? They're like, Next. 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 <laughs> That's what I should start doing. But Dragon Set comes out here. And it should do a decent amount of damage. I don't think it's going to KO. Nope. Brings it down to the stash. So it would have KO. Dude, he's popping off right now. My closet is popping off. And is this thing still asleep? That will be hilarious. Let's see what he's going to do. He woke up. Is he choice into like a skill swap? Like, what's he doing? I'm so confused. I am so confused, man. I don't understand. I don't understand. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? I feel like we would have won this battle regardless. I really do think we would have won this battle regardless because he really didn't get, get off a lot of moves. His real boom got off a fake out. His Xerneas got off a draining kiss. But that's pretty much it. Okay, that first battle was not an ideal battle. That guy, I don't really think he knew what he was doing, but we take those wins. It's weird because these are Master Ball tier battles. So you would expect people to just kind of roll in there and have somewhat of a grasp on this game. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against the Groudon team. That was the last Series 10 team we did showcase. And yo, that team was fire. If you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely go check out that video. But he can send the Drought and get the uh, the Flower Gift from Cherim here. There's a lot of fire. So Tapu Fini, you got to come in here. And I think we might end up leading Rayquaza just for that airlock ability. So whether, what is it? Weather can't be used on the field. How's that working? Eliminates the effect of weather. So the effects of it, which is awesome. So I'm actually going to probably lead him, and I might go Regilecki just for that uh, speed advantage. Then he also has Tailwind. Mm. Hmm. Should I go here? I'm actually gonna go in Cinemore, potentially for the fake out and just try to take out that Whimsicott at turn one. We're gonna lead them too. I'm gonna bring uh, Tapu Fini, and I think Urshfu is going to be our final mod. And we're gonna rock out with this team here. I mean, I'm digging it. I'm digging this team a lot, but I can definitely see him leading the ground off. So the effects of the weather will be canceled, so we won't get the uh, damage boost for fire moves. I don't know if we'll get Flower Gift. I really don't know. And then I think still water moves will hit normal. So I think that's how, we're, how it's rocking. I think that's how airlock works. It always confuses me. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Let me know in the comment section down below how it actually works. Let me know if I'm correct. He's gonna end up going with the ooh, Dragapult and Incineroar. So, tough little call for us here, considering he has uh, Intimidate on him, which is tough news. And I wonder who's outspeeding. Probably him. Yeah, Dragapult's gonna outspeed me all day. So, I'm gonna hard swap in the top of Vinny after I get off a fake out here. And we're gonna roll in from there. Because I can definitely see the Dragon move coming out here, right? Correct. Definitely can see it. Definitely can see it. So I think I'm just going to hard swap the Rayquaza here. Or I can protect. I could protect and waste a turn. Hmm. I think hard swap is going to be played because I do not have protect. So yeah, we're going to hard swap into the Finny. Hopefully drag a dragon move over there. And maybe just parting shot. Unless he's just going to fake me out. Hmm. I'm just going to go for the fake out this turn. Just so he doesn't fake me out. Hopefully I win a speed tie. Because it's going to hard swap. We're going to go into the Finny. We are going to get the Surge rolling. And we're going to place some pressure over onto this Dragon Bolt slot. A nice little lovely Misty Surge. And more importantly, we get rid of that minus one attack on our Rayquaza. So I'm digging it. Let's see what the play is here. Fake outs can come out from my Incineroar, which is awesome. We get the flinch there. Show me the Dragon move sliding over. Dragon Dark's coming here. And I think it both slides over to Incineroar, right? Is that correct? I think that's how it works, yeah. Double slides over there. Pretty nutty, but I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that, because now I can just go into a Moon Blast. Or I can calm mine set up. I see him maybe protecting. There's no way he stays in, right? There's no way he stays in. I'm going to go for his calm mind here. And I'm going to try to parting shot over onto this Incineroar. It's going to be my play all day. Parting shot here. Just try to save our Intimidate for later. And there's a hard swap from him. So good thing we're setting up a Calm Mind. Let's try to get rocking with this Pokemon. And Tate is going to come out. Calm Mind is setting up. Nice little read from your boy. Nice little read from your boy. We'll be rocking with that. 
And the Misty Surge did help out that Dragon Darts, making it do half uh, damage, which is awesome. That's why Incineroar was able to eat up so well. But there's a lovely little Intimidate. He gets an attack drop, special attack drop, and I think he might pardon shot over onto me. Let's see what he does. Mm. They just go right into Urshfu. Urshfu's not a bad call here. Or I can, can go back into Rayquaza. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? Hmm. I don't know what the call is here. I could go into my choice band guy. Which is really, really nice. Actually, I really don't want a choice yet because he could come up big up against that Dragapult. So I'm going to go in, back into the Rayquaza. I would love to save that Earth Spoot for that Dragapult because Sucker Punch with Choice Bank could potentially take it out in one shot. Airlock comes in and he's going to go for a pardon shot over on the Finny, right? Yep, over on the Finny, which yo, I'm totally fine with that Combine work just fine. So he's going to take our, out our special attack, but that's totally fine by me. That is totally fine. At least we're not minus one. We're back to even, and we have a special defense boost, which is all. So who's he going to go into now? We do have the Misty Surge out and about, so I really don't see him going back in the pole. There comes Groudon. Groudon's going to get the drought on, and um, I'm thinking we could just hit a hard water move, right? Is that correct? Like, the hell it works? Let me see my stats real quick. Go to info, and top of finish should be, yeah. We are plus one special defense. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We have airlock on, right? So it's just like weird. It's weird. We have the airlock. And I'm I'm thinking that uh eliminates the effects of weather. So I'm thinking muddy water still hits just as hard. So I'm gonna go into a muddy water and do I just go into a dragon ascent or do I start out? I'm trying to get rid of some Pokemon here. Go for an extreme speed. I know we probably do outspeed. He, he has a rather fast Pokemon, and I think we're gonna try to get after this uh, ground on here. Even if we get our special defense drop, I'm totally cool with that. Iron Head's gonna fly through. Top of Finny should be able to eat that up. Don't flinch. I'd be a little upset. Dragon Descent comes through here. And wow, yo, Entei outspeeds my Rayquaza. That's pretty nutty. There's some nice damage for that Dragon Descent. And we get a defense drop here, which is tough. Groudon's probably gonna go next. Hopefully, Finny comes out here. Finny comes out, and a Muddy Water misses who? Misses the Entei slot. Take out the Groudon for me. Take Groudon, get out of my face. Let's see. Yep, get it out of here. So beautiful air lock worked exactly how I thought it would. Did not affect the water damage there, and we were able to take out Groudon, which is awesome. Which is awesome, which is huge, and we still have our Requ Requaza sitting here chilling. So I definitely see him going back into Incineroar at this point and trying to drop a fake out on one of my Pokemon. And at that point, I just drop a Muddy Water. All right? I just drop a Muddy Water and try Dragon Descent. Yep, there's Incineroar. There is Incineroar! So Muddy Water's gonna fly through here, and who would I rather take out? Who would I rather take out? I think I would rather just go into Muddy Water into Dragon Ascent on hmm. Entei maybe? Yeah, Entei's gonna be call here. I think we try to get rid of this Entei. Let's do it. Let's rock it. Big guy's gonna come through here onto you. That's totally fine. Muddy Water's gonna fly through here, and he's gonna look for the flinch here. Top of Finny, you should be able to not flinch. Rayquaza flinches. Top of Finny does not flinch. And we connect with both Muddy Waters, which is huge. Let's see how much damage we got. Come on, okay. That is lovely. That is lovely, Top of Finny. I love you. That is lovely. Okay. So I know another Muddy Water will take out the Entei. I could go for another Protect. But I am just going to go with Pressure there. And then just drag and ascend over onto Incineroar. We're rocking out really well here. We're playing this one super, super well. Read some swaps. Read all that good stuff. We're playing awesome. We're doing really well. We made two solid plays. We swapped the Rayquaza early on. We rocked up from there. Is this a choice? Oh, he's hitting hard with the Iron Head. He's hitting real hard with the Iron Head. Dragon Descent comes out here. Should be able to do probably KO. Actually, no. We got Intimidate on us, so we're not going to be able to KO. But Tapu Finny should be able to connect both these and pick up the double KO here, which would be big. Actually, I don't know. Citrus Berry is popping. Or that's Figgy, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, that's Figgy Berry. Muddy Water comes out here. Bro, why are you always missing? Why are you always missing? This should be able to take out one of them. Let's see how we do. Of course, free focus, Ash. Bro, what you mean? Snarl comes out of here. Come on, man. Come on. Rayquaza goes down. Incineroar survives on one. Our special attack does drop. And I am going to end up bringing out, uh, bringing out Urshu. And I have to choice into a move. And I have to choice into a move. Okay, so there goes our surge. Um, I think we should be fine if we choose in the Wicked Blow, right? 
I think we should be fine if we choose a wicked blow. Where do I go in the sucker punch? What's my player? What's my player? We know the pulse in the back. I can't muddy water. Let me check out speeds. Let's go for a sucker. I think sucker punch is gonna be the player. No choice to do a sucker punch. And you know what? I'm not risking this muddy water missing. Actually, no. We're gonna muddy water just in case this sucker punch does not KO onto this uh onto this Entei. So let's see how this one plays out here. I'm gonna withdraw Ente. God dang it, yo! I should just drop the wicked blow on that thing. Should have just dropped that wicked blow. That would have been play all day. But still, we have Sucker Punch. Uh, we have Sucker Punch just chilling there. So I dig it. I dig it, and we get some damage off onto that uh, Dragon Pulse. So we're posing that huge threat of that uh, of that Sucker Punch on the Dragon Pulse. I really don't think he's gonna really like that. And we have our leftovers. We have our Tapu Fin here, who should be able to eat up just fine. I think we just go into another Muddy Water to take out that Entei. And then just pose that big threat of a Sucker Punch onto that Dragon Pulse slot. Or I can just throw it over onto that Entei slot. That could be my play. That could be my play. But since we hit both Muddy Waters, we know one is going to miss here. But I have the choice in the Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to pose that threat. Let's see how this one plays out. Sucker Punch comes through, and he is throwing an attack. That should actually KO him. Get him out of here. That's why I want to keep that Urshfu here. Have him chilling in the back end just for that Dragon Pulse and that exact reason right there. So we can suck a punch and fly through there. But Iron Head comes out here. Top of Finny. What did I say, yo? What did I say? I said we hit both Muddy Waters last turn. So that means we have to miss this turn. What is this game, bro? What is this game? We have Sucker Punch ready to rock. We have three more of those. And I think we should be fine. It's just, uh, it's just Muddy Water. It's just Muddy Water, I guess. Sucker Punch. Let's throw it. Let's get after it. Let's do him dirty. Let's do him dirty. There's battle was canceled. 2-0 to get this video started. Let's hop into our third and final battle and look for that perfect record. Your boy has been buzzing in Series 10. We are sitting at 2,373 as our ranking right now. 8-2, which I think is really, really good. We've been playing awesome. Let's see if we can make this 9-2 and, and get a perfect record for today's video. And we're going up against bruh, a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. God dang it, man. So, Urshfu, I'm going to need you here. We're going to need to rock out with you. I think I'm going to go Regilecki into Urshfu. I feel like that could be really, really good. But then Incineroar. It's scaring me just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I think we should still be fine. But that's I'm kind of there to check that. Uh, just to check that Calyrex. But at the same time, bro. Don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't lead that. Maybe I shouldn't lead her. Nah, I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead them too. I think we are going to bring Tapu Fini in this back end. Because Tapu Fini is just great all around. And then final Pokemon... I think we definitely need Rayquaza, right? Do I go with the Rayquaza? I think Rayquaza is definitely going to come in here for us. And I don't know if I want the Finny now. I might swap the Finny out for maybe Incineroar. it will be good, but he doesn't have a lot of physical attackers. Hmm. I don't want to play this one. I think we're fine with this squad. I think we're doing just fine. Let's rock it. Let's hit done. Lock this one in and try to get ourselves that perfect record. Like I said, we're sitting at 8-2, and two, which is awesome for this series. I haven't been playing too much. Like I said, this is the third time saying it. Your boy's been on vacation, so I haven't been playing too too much. But we're back here. We're trying to get that rank higher and higher. Hopefully, I can hit top 1,000 in today, uh, this uh, series. Because I haven't really been trying to push ranks in the past. But maybe we'll try to do it on streams and push some high ranks here. But he ends up going in with that Shadow Rider, which is huge. I can hit through Protect. I think I'm just going to drop a Wicked Blow onto that slot and throw an E-Web and slow down everybody. So that's going to be my play. We're going to get after it. Let's try to do it. So E-Web into Wicked Blow. 100%. 100%. That's our turn. Slow down everybody and just Wicked Blow. If we can hit this Wicked Blow, this thing is going to die. He's going to go home. But the question is, is he going to go for an E-Web? But I think if he goes for an E-Web and I go for an E-Web, his Calyrex outspeeds and then he can just dump all my Earth speed. Which is scary, so maybe we should have just went into a Sucker Punch, but I see this thing maybe protecting this turn. Let's see, nope, he just outspeeds in general. Yo, he's faster than a Regilecki? That's crazy, that's honestly crazy. He's gonna go for an E-Web, yo, eat this up, Earth food. Earth food, that's tasty, real tasty. Yes, sir, yo, we both eat, we both eat, so that's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us because one, we get rid of the Shadow Rider Calyrex, and two, we get some damage off onto this uh, Regilecki. So bang, Shadow Rider out my face. I always forget this thing's speed, dude. That thing was cooking. Like, you're faster than a Regilecki, that is nuts. That's honestly nuts. Look at Blow flies through. 
and Urshfu has done his job. He got rid of that thing. That's really why we had him on the field. We get a crit because it's guaranteed, and we take him out. We knew that was taking him out. So let me go home. Thank you. I'm choice now, and I think that Regilecki outspeeds. Unless it was a speed tie. Unless it was a speed tie. I'm going to look at our Regilecki stats because if we're all boosted in speed, then it was a speed tie. It's going to end up going you, and I'm going to end up checking out this, this stuff and things. Let's check out our, our stats here. Going to Regilecki. Our Sash did come out there. Actually, our Sash did not. Because we got hit first. Speed 242 and no. It's not a speed tied. That thing definitely has to be decent speed. And he's just getting after us. So I can't protect if I really want to, but I think we're both just gonna go down here. So let's just e web. If we don't go down this turn, we're gonna go down next turn. I'm choice into this. Let's just choice it. And I guess we'll hit up on Regilecki. We have to throw out Tapu Finny next turn, which stinks. Actually, no, we didn't bring Tapu Finny. Oh yes we did. But we have our what's called. But we have our uh What is it? What am I trying to say? We have our Rayquaza in the back. So I think he outspeeds me and he's just going to take me out because I am minus one from the e -bib. Tough little turn here. Tough little turn for your boy. Don't like it. Maybe Urshfu can get off shot? I don't think he is. I think that uh, that Lando is going to this all day. That means he's going to come out here. Maybe he thought I was sucker punching, but Earth Power is going to fly through and take me out. Rough news. Rough, rough news. But we have our boy Rayquaza chilling here with some decent speed and Tapu Finny's going to come out here as well. But I am digging this. We have a super effective move on each side. Dragon Ascent can come through here and pile it on. He still has Regilecki in the back end. And that's going to be his final move. So I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Again, I just have to really watch out for that Regilecki. I do have extreme speed, so if I can get out there and hit him with extreme speed, that could be good. But he is at like full HP, so that's a little tough. That's a little tough move. Moves. Missy Search flies through. Gotta watch out for first turn priority moves. Cannot send him while uh while this little brassy girl over here is out on the field because her ability says no. Says yo, you're not allowed to do that. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna drag an ascent. I think I'm just gonna drag an ascent here. Gotta pick up the KO. Let's see it. Let's make it happen. Make it happen, baby. I am scared of that Reg Lucky, dude. That E Web looks like it's gonna do me dirty, especially after this defense drop. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see, dude. We have a base 120 flying stab move coming into this grass girl. That should be able to take it out, I think, unless it's Sash. The Rock Side is going to fly through here. Ooh, you know, Rock Side scaring me a little bit. Rock Side definitely doing some hefty damage, and it has a chance for punches, which I don't like. Dragon Sense going to fly through here. Can we pick up the KO here? It'll be huge because then our Muddy Water will do more damage. There's the KO. That is a big KO there. And we get a defense drop. Okay, so Muddy Water, we need you doing some big damage here. Need you doing some big damage. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Is Regilecki going to be able to fly through here? Do some big damage. Get a crit. Do something crazy. I don't care what you do. Oh my. Yo, so close, man. So close. All right. What is going to be the play here? What is going to be the play? Who do I extreme speed onto? The Lando? What do I do? Reg like he comes flying out, yo. E web scaring me, bro. It's scaring me. I think we just go for a moon blast into this thing and we extreme speed. We have to extreme speed and take this thing out and hope that maybe Tapu Finny can eat up an E web. Let's see what happens here. Protect comes out. Bruh. Big protect here. Extreme speed comes out here. And he's gonna end up winning off of that. No way. Both guys eat up. I don't know how, but you guys can do it. Do it. Tapu Finny would have ate, bro. He would have ate. Our speed does drop. Now let's see how much damage this Tapu Finny would be doing. So if it does KO, then we were sitting in a pretty spot. Let's see it. Oh my lord, yo. Don't tell me we just lost to a protect. I mean, I can get some HP back. I can farm up some HP here. With my leftovers, which is really, really nice. So there's still a chance here. There's still a huge chance here. But I have to get off this Moon Blast. I don't have protect. All right, let's rock it. Let's do it. Eat up. Top of Finny needs you. I think he's just earth, gonna earth power for the win. Let's see it. Sludge Bomb comes through. Eat it. Eat it. Nope. No eat. He ends up having that coverage move of Sludge Bomb. Picking up that KO and taking our perfect record away from us. What a huge protect coming out from our opponent in that third and final battle. He legit won the game because of that. We would extreme speed 
taken out that uh, Landorus, and then our Moonblast took out that Regilecki. That would have been game, would have been GG's, and we would have had a perfect record for you guys. But regardless, we still had great videos, went 2-1, and one, and grabbed ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.